Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, we are doing three thrift store makeovers together. So let's get started. So I thrifted these beautiful wooden candle holders. So what I'm doing now is simply removing these metal insert uh, that hold the candles. I also found these little wooden, uh, I don't know what they are. I was told they are the piece that you put underneath your sofa to protect your floor and that makes complete sense because I remember seeing those before. So now I'm using my Gorilla Glue for some permanent hold and I'm also going to add some hot glue into the mix as well to give me an instant hold and I'm simply gluing these little wood piece on top of my candle holders. Whenever I'm gluing something on um, top of a candle holder, I usually just turn it upside down because I find it's easier to see where the middle is at rather than just place it on top. Um, that just makes it easier for me. Now I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white and I'm simply painting these candlesticks two coats allowing to dry in between. My candle holders are dried, so now I'm mixing some color. I don't have a pretty color aqua on hand, so I'm simply going to make one. Now what I'm doing with this aqua color is I'm putting that on my candle holders but just in certain areas. I'm going to paint some areas in aqua and paint some in white so I can have the mix of the two colors on this candle holder. Now I'm distressing and sanding the candle holders and this could be a little uh, or as much distress as you like for your style. Now 
now i'm making sure i'm getting rid of all the dust on my candle holders so it's nice and clean I'm using some wax for a protector for the candle holders and I originally started with the clear wax and I changed my mind very quickly with um, the clear wax to go with the white wax because I wanted some of that white to go on the wood part where I sanded it. I want it to be more like um, softer look and I wasn't getting that softer look on the distress areas that I wanted so I went with white and that gave me the nice soft feel that I wanted. Now I'm simply buffing my wax onto my candle holders with a rag. And here is the final result. I think these turned out so nice with the two-tone colors and the distress. This is a perfect for a pop a color in any room. I found this beautiful little family of duck ornament. It had burgundy ribbon on it. I removed that and I spray painted the piece with one good coat of the clear matte protector and that helps this paint to adhere better. This is the white chalk paint by Rustolian in white linen and I'm going to give it two coats of this paint. I'm using some gray paint that I have on hand and I'm simply going to brush this paint very lightly on the wings, the feet and the beak of the ducks.
Now I'm repeating the same process but with a much lighter uh, aqua uh, color just to brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm using some twine rope and just wrapping around the duck's neck and making a little bow up front. And now I'm giving two coats of protector spray to these little ducks. And this is the final result. This is so cute with that touch of aqua mixed with the white and the grays. It gives it a really nice a firm house look with a pop of color. But now I'm kind of wishing that I would have done these little ducks in gold. So let me know your thoughts on that if you think I should leave them as is or redo them in a nice gold color. I'm missing the picture of this bunny. I apologize for that. But the first thing I did was spray a clear coat of protector on it. And now I'm giving it two coats of Resilium White Chalk Paint. I'm using the same gray and aqua color that I used in the duck. And the first thing I'm doing is adding this gray color to all the crease area all the details area all the shadow area so i'm giving a really good coat of that um, a bit everywhere I'm using a blow dryer to speed up the drying process. Now I'm repeating the same process with the aqua color.
Now I'm taking my white chalk paint and brushing that on lightly all over the bunny and just not applying very much on the crease areas. Now you can really see that pop of aqua color in all the crease areas and all the detail. Uh, it's uh, really soft looking with this aqua color as well. Um, so if I turn this on the back, you really, really see the detail really well. And here is the final result. I dress this little bunny with some beads and I think this is super cute and definitely a softer look than the pink for sure. Well, that's it for this video, folks. Of course, I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me those big thumbs up. And if you like this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, today is a perfect day to do so. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.